Hey everyone, it's Chris here. As always, thanks for coming to check out the video. So today's video, I'm going to be testing a, uh, a GPS tracker. This is a $30 tracker that you can buy off Amazon, and it's referred to on Amazon as a 103B or a TK103B. So um, again, it's $30. It's, um, it's a pretty neat uh, GPS tracker. Um, you have to put a SIM card in it, and um, there's not a lot to it to make it work. It doesn't need a lot but it comes with a lot of different uh, um, peripherals that you can or can't put on it. But just real quick, some of the things that it comes with, the actual unit itself, uh, this is an antenna for the key fob. This is a GSM antenna. This is actually what talks to the cell phone towers. This is a GPS puck. This is what uh, gets its location. This is a microphone if you want to uh, listen to audio inside the vehicle that you put this in. You can use this. Uh, it's got some software for it and a user manual, which is very, very important. The other thing that this comes with, or the most important thing, is the harness that comes with this as well. Um, this is where this kind of gets complicated. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, but really, once you break this down, um, it's really not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what everything is here, what everything here is for. I'm going to start by plugging this harness into the front of the unit or the back of it. And I've already gone through and kind of labeled these wires, what they are and what they're for. Um, I've got my labels here, but you want to start by going to your manual. Uh, this particular one that they sent me on page nine has all the, um, the breakdown of what all the wires are for. Again, I've kind of already gone through here and labeled what each one of these are for on this particular unit. The one you may order it may have wires of a different color or in a different order. So definitely check your manual. Um, so here, I'll just go ahead and tell you real quick. My orange wire is for an alarm. So I can press the key fob and arm the alarm if the car has one. Uh, this white wire, this is the um, this is the accessory wire. So actually, I'm sorry, this one is white and black. This wire ties into the fuel system. It gives the uh, GPS unit an alert for your fuel. This white wire here, this is the accessory wire. So when you put your key in and you um, go to turn the car on, when you have it on the battery, this will send an alert to the GPS unit to let you know the car's getting ready to be started. This green and blue wire, this lets you know if the door's been opened. And this black and red wire together, uh, it's actually kind of a neat function. It's a button. There's a button on the end of this and it's called an SOS signal. So if you want to install this in your car, somebody can press this and it'll send you, um, they can choose to send you their location. Uh, and finally, we have this yellow wire, which this is on the other end of this yellow wire. There's, you can see there's kind of another harness. This is a relay, so you can um, you can tie this into the vehicle's ignition, and you can actually send this a text. You can send this a text and shut off the vehicle. I'm not going to be installing that or testing that on the further on videos, um, but if you know how to do it, it's there. Um, and of course, we have our red and black wires. These are power, and all this needs is nine to twelve volts. So um, today I'm gonna go ahead and hook up 12 volts because that's typically what you would find in a vehicle. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, put a SIM card in it, put the antennas up to it, and show you what it looks like once it's powered up and once it works. Um, real quick before we get started, one of the things I wanna point out that is neat about this particular tracker, this thing is, it's only $30. It gives you a ton of different options on um, things you can connect to. You do not have to use any of this. If all you want is just the location of the vehicle, um, you can take all these other wires and you can cut, you can cut these off and you never have to use them. Um, all you have to connect is positive and negative voltage. So again, uh, you don't have to use all this other stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off. Uh, you can see that I've labeled them. The reason I've done that, in case I ever want to add these back on, I know which wire is which, even though I have the manual, just a quick reference for me. All right, so this is my DC power supply. Uh, this is 
old and it worked really well but it's not very uh, nice to look at anyways this is how i'm going to supply 12 volt power uh, to this unit to test it um, if you don't have something like this to test it you can use a 12 volt battery pack or you can even um, you can use an old uh, power supply unit like a wall wart and you can cut the leads off it and you can get a positive and negative uh, voltage from that. Just check it for to make sure that you're getting 12 volts out of it. I have another video for that. I'll put a link down below if you're curious about that. Anyways, um, before I put power to this unit, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and hook up the antennas to it. Um, anything that ever has an antenna, you don't ever want to put power to it uh, bef without putting the antennas on it. So it's just good practice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the antennas on. All right, you can see on one side we've got GPS, on the other side we've got GSM. You want to make sure that you hook up the GPS antenna to the GPS port on the, the tracker itself. And now I'll go ahead and hook up the GSM antenna. All right, next you want to go ahead and pop out the GPS, or I'm sorry, the SIM. So there's a little, um, there's a little button here. To press that to make it come out and you can use a paper clip if you don't have a pick so here is where our sim is gonna go all right so we have our antennas hooked up we have a sim card in here and now we have um, all we have to do is hook up our uh, positive and negative wires. Pretty quickly after I plugged this in, I got a green LED and a red blinking LED. So according to the manual, a red LED that's flashing quickly one time per second means I've got good GSM and the green LED means I've got a good GPS fix. So I've got all the signals I need. Now that we've got everything connected, we're gonna go ahead and test the device out. And the way you do that is you take the cell phone number that's associated with the SIM card that you bought and you simply text it like you would anybody else. The commands are a little tricky, um, or at least my interpretation of them was uh, not perfect, I guess. So it took me a few tries to get the, the device to send me the right message, but you can see I'm actually having a conversation with it here. And once I get the right combo in, here you can see it sends me the lat, the long, the speed, the time, a link to a map in Google. It tells me the power is on, the door is off, and the accessory is off. Now the device has sent me a second text with another link to Google Maps. So once I click on that, it's going to show me in Google Maps where the location of the device is. So all in all, I'd call this a success. The device had no problems powering on, even using my 12 volt uh, or my DC power supply. Uh, it had no issue with me only using the negative and positive wires. Um, I was able to communicate with the device, the antennas connected to where they needed to be connected to, and it gave me the lat long. So um, yeah, for 30 bucks, you can't go wrong. If you're going to install this into a vehicle, I would highly recommend checking it before you spend the time to um, connect everything. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer or you can email me. And as always, thanks for watching.